converting started. Anyway, this is Rusty78609. I was doing a video. I was talking to Isaac. For some reason, the phone died. Anyway, this is his bicycle. He's traveling from Virginia to San Diego. San Diego. San Diego. How long is that whole trip? Uh, I think it's going to end up being close to 4,000 miles. So 4,000 miles on a bicycle. He's eight months into the trip. That beer is mine. The rest of it's his. And he uses, his sustenance is basically foods that don't have to be frozen or kept cool. And he was just telling me about his diet. Apparently, you've got some kind of location device here on the table. Yeah, that's a Garmin GPS. Uh, so it'll work if I ever don't have phone signal. I have not had to use it, but it has an SOS button if I ever got into some sort of trouble and couldn't make my make my own way out of it. That okay. would call a search and rescue team. Uh, that's that's just peace of mind. I understand. Uh, have you had any issues on the road camping and so forth with human beings? No human being issues uh, for the most part. You try to stay somewhere you're allowed to stay in a campground. I've had to stealth camp once or twice, but you don't want to do that. You don't want to trespass on anyone's no. land if you can avoid it. Yeah, they don't uh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. And other than that, people have been very friendly. Nobody's ever, uh, you know, taken taken offense to what I'm doing. Uh, sometimes cars can be a little dangerous. People yeah. People out there driving, especially in Texas where you got speed limits of 75 and 80. It's a you little scarier, it. but on the back roads, it's fine. People wave to you. And uh, Well, are there any states that... Uh, seem more uh, favorable favorable to what you're doing than others or are they all about the same i'd say it's mostly honest the the feeling of safety that you have is determined by the width of the shoulder uh, so out here you've got a four foot shoulder and it feels like it's your own bike lane that's safe and every state will will be different uh, surprisingly i would say texas has been the friendliest the well, that's friendliest good. drivers and also the widest shoulders. There's always been a big shoulder on Texas roads. Yeah, we, we have big highways in Texas. Of course, we yeah. have a big budget yeah, for, yeah. for that. Okay, you know, that oil and gas out there is doing something. Yeah, so that's that's worked well. It's uh, come into my favor a lot of times. Even, yeah, even on the bigger highways, you feel totally safe. But whenever you cook, you use a, the butane propane mix yep, thing? Yep, yep, one of these uh, small yep. canisters. How long will one of those small canisters last? It actually, it depends on the weather. So wow. if it's much colder, I was still riding in the winter uh, through the, not in the Appalachians, but coming south, uh, one of these might last two weeks, you know, if you boil water for coffee in the morning and right. then you cook dinner. But now that it's hot, you know, 60, 70 degrees at night, I, this one will probably last me most of the rest of the trip, maybe three weeks. Really? Maybe more, yeah. That long? So, yeah, it's, so, it's a big difference in between heating water up from almost freezing to... Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So you, you really don't do a lot of cooking, though, really? Huh? No, breakfast and dinner, and breakfast is usually something like oatmeal that you just need a little bit of hot water for. Well, what what are you looking for? The protein or carbs or what? Um, a lot of carbs and then enough protein whatever, wherever you can get it. Um, Carbs are your are your fuel for the day, and right. protein helps you recover. Uh, you try to get some fats, so you know I'll usually grab an avocado or something like that. You, you try to get vegetables and fruits where you can, but right. it's hard to avoid rice and beans. You really you gotta like rice, beans, and tortillas <laughs> if you're gonna do this. I hear you, man. Well, I grew up in rice, bean, and tortilla area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, for anyone that's considering doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. what what would be a recommendation or some of your thoughts after eight months? By far the most important thing is to make sure that your bike fits you before you leave. You don't want to get on the road and then find out that your seat will hurt your butt after six hours. And you uh -huh. don't want to find out that your handlebars are going to have a pressure point on your hands and that's going to cause you discomfort. So everything else I would say is negotiable. You can get fancy bags or some people, you know, they got laundry bins strapped to their side. Yeah. Some people. Uh, stay in motels every night some people camp every night but the one the one non-negotiable is make sure your bike is comfortable for you absolutely you know. well, how long did you uh, try your bike out before you determined it was suitable to you i had this bike maybe for about a year before wow. i started the trip and then i used it to commute to work most days uh, i had you know a five mile ride to work but i would you know you do that twice a day yeah. so you spend a decent amount of time on the bike beforehand 
Um, what what type of bike is that? I know it's, it look it looks like it's really built sturdily. You know, what I mean it's a yeah. So it's it's a touring bicycle. It's specifically designed for this sort of thing. Um, okay. It's mm, REI, the outdoor store, makes a line of touring bikes, but okay. a lot of other companies do as well. What you're looking for is a relaxed geometry, so you're not hunched over like it's a race bike. Right. Um, it should have mounts for the bags, so there'll be little eyelets where you can screw various things on there to hold the water bottles and hold the hold the bags, and those are the right. two primary things. Uh, I also have a disc brake bike, not a requirement, but in wet weather, disc brakes function a little bit better than um, the traditional bicycle uh, rim brakes. Yeah. So I went with that. Um, well, I noticed you have some, uh, looks like some kind of grip tape on your handlebars. For yeah, your... yeah, it's getting a little ratty, but you've got, so under there I actually have foam pads um, and then regular bar tape around it, and that's just for comfort. I'm a bigger guy, I got bigger hands, so I like having more material where right. my hands go. Um, and that's a big personal preference style. Some people, um, some people don't mind different setups. You can get a bunch of different handlebar shapes depending on your preference, and I just found one that worked well for me yeah. and was comfortable for the long haul. Well, you've got it set. What is that little device right in the center of your handlebars? Uh, that's actually a bicycle light. So well, just in case I ever need uh, light, I try not to ride at night, but if you ever do end up in that situation, you want to you want to be visible. Well, whenever you're riding, is there a flag or anything you put on or uh, a blinking have, light or anything? I have a rear light, which I usually don't take out unless it's dusk or visibility is okay. bad. And then I also have a reflective vest, which okay. I'll wear over my shirt. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, be safe, huh? I will. I have yeah. been so far, so I'm hoping my luck continues. Yeah, I love you. I love the, the, the condition that your front tire's in. Yeah, that's uh, that's on its way out. <laughs> uh, I think I've I've replaced that once so far, and I'll have to replace it again. Uh, that rear tire is new from Austin, so that's going to last me the rest of the trip. Oh, but you went through Austin, Texas? Yeah, I did. Well, you did go the long way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. Well, anyway, Isaac, I'll let you go back to rest because I know you got to leave at daylight and make 60 miles. Is that right? Yep. Tomorrow might be 70, actually, after the Gila Cliff Dwellings. Well, I wish you luck because that ride up there, you know, they have the bike races from Silver City up to. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's a, they, that's a biking community you're going into. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, thank you very much, Isaac, for your courtesy. I wish you a lot of luck and safety on the road and enjoy your life one day at a time. Keep your health. I mean, I can see that you're eating health food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> close, close, close. Anyway, adios, amigo. Thank you. Anyway, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. And bye to Isaac. Now, I wish him well. Uh, uh, buy anything you want, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my videos or all my videos because I get a small commission. It doesn't cost you a penny. If you don't want to fool with it, don't. And what else? Drink plenty of water. Stretch. Walk. Uh, what else? Take deep breaths. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Keep your health, you know, and then you'll be out here with Isaac uh, riding that bike down the highway, man. Yeah, yeah. Can you do that? A thousand miles, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.